So we just wanted to come back with some final thoughts of on the Vinoy since yeah. we've officially checked out. So on the positives, we want to say that it was much cleaner than when we stayed there over COVID. Yes. From our last video. And if you want to check that out, I think I've said three or four times, Joe will link that video in the description below. Yeah, yeah. We loved the renovations. Yeah, I think it was quite nice. They did a really, really nice job. The Vinoy is owned by Marriott uh, and can't say enough about the refurbishments. It's They did a really nice job. We loved the when you you always have pool service when you go to the pool at the Vinoy they always do your towel for you but they upped it so um each pool attendant gets a basket of your stuff with your towels and well, pool menus yeah. and then they bring it to your spot and they open the umbrella and they put your towels down it's it's really quite nice yeah. we really enjoyed that yeah um, the food, everything we ate and drank was good. It yeah. was very expensive. Yeah. Wow. Very expensive for what you get. Um, and then the negative, the, 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 the negative that stood out for us is literally after we had been filming the lobby, we had been filming for at least 20 minutes, mm -hmm. if not longer. No, not 20, but probably more like 10 to 15. It wasn't that much, but, but we, had we were passed, walking around quite a right. bit with the camera in my hand. So we walking had, around was... Good 20 minutes. And yeah. we had passed by and spoken to at least five different yeah, yeah. guest service people. And no one said, put your camera away. You're not allowed to film. Yeah. And we were getting ready to walk up the stairs to go outside to the pool deck. And that's when security stopped us and told us that we are not allowed to film. Which, I don't know. I That just hit me the wrong way. Um, so, okay, the Vinoy historically has always been a hotel where ballplayers will stay. Because it's yes. a nice, it's basically one of it, the nicest hotels it, in downtown St. Pete, close enough to where the Tampa Bay They Raiders had a contract play. with MLB, with yeah. Major League Baseball, and whoever was playing the Tampa Bay Rays would stay at the Vinoy. So yeah. there were always signs posted when there was a team staying there that they are guests of the hotel, respect their privacy, don't ask for pictures, right. autographs. There were no signs up. Um, I, I don't even think that the Orioles were in town playing Tampa, and I don't even think they were staying at the Vinoy. I think yeah. maybe that contract was terminated. I could be wrong, but I don't but, know. But I think the whole no filming, no weird. pictures policy is kind of stems from that, perhaps. I don't know. But And also to respect other guests, because this is going to sound weird, too, but... For that kind of hotel, for the price point, you're going to get people who have money staying there. Um, how are some of these people making their money? I don't know. Will some of them feel a bit off if someone else is video I recording them? I don't think it's any different from st someone staying at the Grand Floridian. I mean, that's that can be seven hundred and fifty dollars yeah, a night, I know, which is more I know. than, than so, the. I don't know. Way. Whatever, it's fine. I mean, really, ultimately, that was an it's fine. It was. It was. Scene, I don't know. But, it was a turnoff, and I just I wish they would have had that posted somewhere. Like, hey. Respect the privacy of and the you know other what? guests, maybe, no filming. Maybe it was posted in the reservations. Maybe it's in the reservation somewhere and, you know, read the fine print kind of thing. So maybe it's there. I don't know. Ultimately, at the end of the day, it's fine. It is what it is. We got some footage. We're still it's just weird. I don't think we've ever been told by anyone not to film. If anything, people are like, oh, yeah, please film. Put it on social media. I mean, when we were in Mexico... Every single staff person was like, hey, yeah, film this. Get this Get this yeah. up on the um, yeah. social media. So anyway, at the end of weird. it, it was, yeah, that, that is what it was. But at, at the end of it, it was better than the last time we stayed there. There were more positives. It was definitely cleaner. No dead bugs. No Our you room know, was ready at 10 o'clock in the morning. It, yeah, and the pool personnel were mm -hmm. great. Uh, at the restaurants, at the bars, we sat out at the, the bar area used to have a kind of inside, outside. Uh, split. Uh, they took the inside part of it out and that's uh, so the bar is only on the outside right with their big porch with the rocking chairs. Yeah. Um, so we sat out there and Had drinks. it was just really really nice. It was very very relaxing. So I really don't have anything negative to say about the hotel despite no. the filming thing. Um, I don't have anything negative Which to say about that. Which if that's their policy, that's their policy. Right. The only negative thing that I can say um, really truly Last night, somebody was a little hungry 
and she wanted to order room service. And somebody else was dumb enough to say, oh, okay. So we uh, had food delivered at like 1030 at uh, night. Let's see. And, and who was up with heartburn all well. freaking night? Yeah. You know the Pepto Bismol commercial where the, where they say, oh. um, uh, well, it was on fire. Heartburn, indigestion, upset stomach, diarrhea. Oh my full God. disclosure, it was full circle. So, um, <laughs> yeah. So Jen's like, oh yeah, what are we gonna get? Oh, this hummus looks really good. I want a grilled cheese. Oh, the grilled cheese comes with lobster. <laughs> it's a lobster grill. Yes, definitely. Let's get that. It was um, not a good choice. So, needless to say, it was after she took her Ambien. So this morning, she's up and she's looking at the tray that I set off to the side with, you know, the stuff, the plates. She's like, what the hell did we order last night? What did we eat? I said, well, you don't remember? I remembered the hummus because I, I remembered like usually when you order hummus, you get like a little, a little container oh, yeah, and it's tiny. got, you know, the carrots and the cucumber. Like bigger than my this head. This was like a pasta bowl <laughs> filled with hummus. <laughs> it just, and then, so I'm like, well, why? Well, why? You don't remember? He goes, no. Oh, it really upset my stomach. Oh, it upset your stomach too? <laughs> good. I was up all freaking night. I was finally going to get a good night's sleep. I was so looking forward to the big king size bed. It was so comfortable. So maybe oh, if you stay at the Vinoy, don't order late night room service. Well, I just, I can't. It was eat. very good. It was good. It came hot and fresh. Oh, and God, yes. It was, we ate it all. We did. Oh, I should, man, and they I even was... delivered, did you order the Evian water? No, they, they just... just brought it with. Wow. They brought it, yeah. I don't yeah. know if we were charged for it, but yeah, we got well, Evian water. I don't think so. Too. But yeah, it, anyway, it was. <laughs> <laughs> it was very good. They were very nice and the food came quickly and hot, but we probably should not have ordered it and we should not have eaten that late at night. No. But that was on us, not the hotel. So anyway. Yeah. So um, would I stay there again? I don't know. I mean, we've done it now three times. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful hotel, but I don't know. I think I've been there, done that now. It's, it's, well, I don't you know, know, but it was fine. It was it good. Was, we it enjoyed was, it. We, it was. overall, we had a, a good time. Just, um, it's very expensive. Just yeah. know that if you're going to stay there going in, like a uh, small coffee was $8. Yeah. For, so, for two coffees and a dessert, it was $34, which yeah. I don't know, maybe I, I thought it was expensive. It is. There's everything about yeah. that was expensive. Everything. Just know that going so. in. Just know it going in that mm -hmm. you you will spend some coin, especially if you're a family and you're you're planning on eating at the resort. Yeah. It will be yeah. pricey. Basically, if you're going to stay at this place, you yeah. can afford to stay at this place. At the end of it all, yeah. we you know got the room because they had Marriott points, so the room was free except for. Uh, whatever incidentals, right? They so do. The they have stuff. started, and we didn't do this because of the price point. Um, they are now offering a tea at the Vinoy. It's a hundred and eight dollars a person without tax and gratuity. So that would have been two hundred and sixteen dollars before tax and gratuity. It's a two hour tea. The first hour is spent getting a historic walking tour of the resort because the Vinoy is a historic landmark hotel. Yep. Um, and then the last hour is, of course, your tea and small sandwiches, pastries, whatever. And we just thought that price point was a little high. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Considering we've done other teas for half of that. Right. So, so we've done the tea at the Grand Floridian. We've done tea at, at the, the Drake. Drake in Chicago. All well, the mm -hmm. Chicago suburbs. We did the tea in Oak Brook, that one there, which was really, really nice. But um, yeah. So anyway. Yeah. So anyway, overall, just wanted to come back in and give the final recap of the Vinoy stay. So yes. definitely still a thumbs up for sure. Yeah, it, yeah. it's a beautiful hotel. If you haven't yeah. stayed there, it's worth staying at, you know, at least once. But um, I don't, I don't know. I just don't think I need to stay there again. It was, I was pretty turned off by the no filming policy. Yeah. I just mm. thought it was weird. Yeah, but you gotta weird. respect them. Yeah, you were. So do you respect them by not giving them your money? I, you, it affected you more than it did me. I didn't care. It's fine. Whatever. That's your policy. It's it's okay. I'm, you know. You're... But we did see someone with a big camera, and she had the whole light thing going on, and she was shooting pictures before you walk out to the courtyard. Remember last yeah, night? Yeah, but that perhaps. That was kind of weird. No, but maybe she was actually working for the hotel. She was dressed in commoner clothes. So photographer, photographers are going to do whatever it doesn't matter so she probably was still working for the hotel and if Just not saying. then security probably tracked her down to and said eh, eh, eh. more of 
this. Anyway, all right. All right, um, so don't forget good. to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because you don't want to miss any of the next Jen and Joe on the go action because we're in Florida now at Disney World. So, I mean, we've been in Florida, but now we're at Disney. Yes, so videos are coming. Keep coming back. We're a while. You put them up as quickly as we can. All right, bye. Bye.